Welcome to Art Class. My name is Mrs. Smith. In Art Class, we spend time developing skills to be better visual communicators. In each class, students start with a daily warm-up where students read, analyze, draw, and write about art. In eighth grade, we focus on artist behaviors, develop drawing skills, and work with pencil, watercolor, clay, and digital illustration. In addition, each student maintains an art journal. All projects are done in class, but students are given the choice to bring work home if they need more time. If you have any questions or would like to know more about my class, either, please either email me or check out my website. Hi parents, I'm Laura Garrison and I teach computer applications to all the 8th grade students. I really look forward to having them all, especially since I have an 8th grader this year. I live in town. Just a little bit about me. Um, this is my family. I have a junior in high school and I have an 8th grader. Um, I love my job. I love Chester so much I moved here. I'm a Google certified educator level one, level two, as well as a Google trainer. And I'm still working on things, still learning things. I remember the old technology you can see over here on the side. Um, just a few things we're going to be doing in class, computer programming. We have a unit on that. Um, we will be typing, although students can test out of typing. You can see right here that some of them are beating me. I was competing against them and they beat me sometimes. So if they can do that, then um, they can test out of typing. Also, we'll be looking at um, digital citizenship, internet safety. We'll be looking at the social dilemma, talking about social media and how that influences them. Um, also, we're going to be um, using Google Spreadsheets. We're using that right now, um, planning a budget, um, looking at um, what are our expenditures and charting them. Also, we're going to be um, looking at buying a car. What does it look like? What does a car payment look like um, based on APR in terms of the loan? And we use Google Formulas, um, formulas in the spreadsheet to help us. So um, also they will have a choice module where they get to pick what they want to learn, um, one of which is Adobe Photoshop. Minecraft is one of them and there's some programming along with Minecraft. So we have a lot of fun. Um, we have a, a VR station and a, um, a, a flight simulator program, which is a new one this year. So I'm really looking forward to having your eighth graders. If you need to get in touch with me, here's some um, contact information and um, look forward to seeing you around town. Take care. Good evening. This is Mrs. Vespignani. I am the choral director and the performing arts teacher here at Black River Middle School. Welcome all you eighth grade parents to back to school night. As mo many of you may know, here at Black River, we have several different choruses. There is a sixth grade chorus, seventh grade chorus, there's an eighth grade chorus, and also select chorus. And chorus has already begun during enrichment, uh, a different chorus every day. In eighth grade performing arts, <clears throat> there are a lot of different things that are focused on as far as musical and theatrical performances. So at the beginning of the marking period, we start off with a discussion of theater vocabulary that we will be using throughout the entire marking period. And then we move on to our first performance uh, based musical performance, which is actually the opera. So the students study operas. We um, particularly study five in our textbook. And after that, we move on to operettas. After the operettas, we move on to musicals. <clears throat> and they are taught in chronological order from when they were written, so um, operas, operettas, and musicals. After that, we move on to a variety of other units that we cover in eighth grade. Some of what we do is um, talking about 20 and 21st century music, and then we talk about careers in the music and theater industry. We also spend some time on resumes, resume writing and auditioning. And toward the end of the marking period, we spend some time on our national anthem, at, which is the Star Spangled Banner, as well as a, a unit that incorporates several different patriotic elements throughout. Assessments in eighth grade include performances, projects, quizzes, and also tests. And after our three years together, 
having performing arts in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, students will have a firm foundation of theater and musical knowledge that prepares them for high school and beyond. They are well prepared for when they get to high school and are taking their uh, fine arts requirements. And um, I'm confident that they will do really well at the high school. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Welcome back to School Night. My name is Andy Gray. I teach STEM. Uh, and this year for eighth grade, we're, we're going to be in a situation where it's finally a lot of normalcy and uh, we'll be able to be uninterrupted throughout the marking periods and get a chance for them to have the full STEM experience, which is which is exciting. Um, Right now, we're working on the robotics project. So we're going to build a robot. It's based on a historical theme. So we're going to move the robot on a large map. It's very much adding the arts, if you will, into STEM. So it turns into STEAM. Um, they make a giant 5x5 five five map based on movement throughout American history. It can also be something that they've been interested in from previous years, too. But usually a historical map uh, demonstrating some type of movement. They create clay figurines, um, as well as writing a... a Three paragraph essay and sentences, uh, so it's quite a multifaceted project that they'll be working on. We're just finishing up on some background history on this uh, unit. I can go ahead and advance the slides so you can see uh, some of the projects that we're we'll working on this marking period. Um, as far as grades go, they are graded usually on a vocabulary quiz at the beginning of each unit, uh, and then depending on the unit. Uh, there may be a final test, there may not be. It just depends on uh, which one. Usually the robotics, they have a, a quest, which is sort of a combination of a quiz and a test at the very beginning, uh, but it's double-sided, and they talk about uh, not only the vocabulary of the unit, but also um, certain mechanical uh, terms that are that are based on, on a lot of the things that the robots actually have that they're be putting together, like you know, servo motors, 180, 360 motors, things like that. Uh, from there, we're going to move on to the CO2 dragster unit. For that, they're going to be racing um, the dragster cars. And if you've come to some of the back to, or excuse me, to uh, some of the uh, science fairs in the past, uh, you've probably have seen the racetrack in action uh, prior to. Um, you know, 2021, uh, but right up through 2020. So they get a chance to look at the physics of racing. We use a drag tunnel. We look at uh, the weight, uh, friction, and all things um, physics when it comes to that unit. Uh, looking forward to another great year. Please, if you have any questions, my contact information is here. Hope you're having a great back to school night and looking forward to um, getting into 2023. And uh, this eighth grade group has been tremendous. We're, we're excited as, as, they, as they move towards uh, the their Black River career in normalcy, which is great. So have a, have a good evening. Thanks so much.